I'm Rick Rams, Dean of PE and Athletics. Today I'm joined by Scott Pickler, head baseball coach. Coach, thanks for joining me out here today. Good. We're going to do a little baseball preview here for the Super Regional. Coach, we're about to play Fullerton College on Friday here at Cypress in the Super Regional. Have a heck of a rivalry developing. You got the state championship over them in 2013. Last year we hosted them. They beat us in an epic 16 inning battle to advance to the next round. Now they're coming to town. What's this season, this series, excuse me, going to look like? It's going to be a heated series, I'm sure, just because we're so close, same district and everything else. Um, offensively, they got better numbers than us right now. Uh, I think we can pitch a little bit better, but we'll see what happens. Anything could happen in this series. Just like their team we won last year, they knocked us out. They're a very good club, and it's going to be exciting. You know, you get to this time of the year, it's who performs better, you know, who doesn't give up four outs in an inning, and, you know, who clutches up in a certain situation. Momentum's big in the playoffs, and we know as the regular season was coming down, we had a couple of tough losses there towards the very end, but then your guys really battled back. You know, I think about game one against El Camino, Reeser steps up, hits a clutch home run late in the game, which pretty much sealed the deal. Then your team locked it down in game two to hang on to a tight 4-3 victory. As the season progresses and you have those ups and downs where you have moments where things might not work out, you're able to protect the lead, then your guys respond positively when it counts in the playoffs. How important is it to go through those ups and downs, especially this late in the season? I think you got to go through every team in our league has gone through ups and downs. And then, and then when you get to the playoffs in our lineup, it hasn't been one guy carrying us the whole year. It's like Reese, like you said, Reese performed there. Skips has come up big. And, you know, I could go right through my lineup, nine guys. Paul Gomez has come up big. And you get to a short series like that, you just hope for a couple guys to step it up and do it at the right time, you know. And that's what I think will happen this weekend. I, I hope somebody steps it up. It's like Casada. We brought him, you know, he was in the pen early in the year. Um, he'll probably start game two for us. And he stepped at us and give us new life, and we'll see what happens. It's going to come down to, it always does in a super regional, who makes a play, who gets a key hit, which pitcher steps it up. And it seems like every year we've been to this level at the Super Regional, there's somebody that comes out of our bullpen that we haven't counted on that steps it up also. Or who doesn't make a start pretty much the whole year and gets you through a state championship like back in 2013. Alone Leichman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great Pretty story. Special. Great stories there. I'm joined by Brad Pickler, head softball coach. Thanks for joining me, Coach Brad. My pleasure, Rick. All right. <laughs> We're on to the Super Regionals here at Cypress College this coming weekend. We're going to have an exciting tournament featuring four teams with the winner having a chance to advance the state. Give us a little preview what to expect against our district rival, Fullerton College. Well, Fullerton is a, uh, a worthy opponent. They All three games that we played them were close during the season. And uh, it's as you know, it's always tough to beat somebody a fourth time. So hopefully the girls will be ready to go and they're not going to take them lightly. You know, we had a uh, Sunday, Saturday, we played Long Beach City and we had a couple blowouts against them and they gave us everything we could handle on Saturday. So Fullerton's not going to come in here and lie down. So we just got to be ready to play against those guys. Do you girls feel a sense of responsibility knowing that they're part of the most successful uh, community college softball program in the nation and the legacy of Cypress College softball in the state being that you're the most successful head coach and this is the most successful winningest program in the history of softball in California Community College? Is there a sense of responsibility for your, especially your sophomores, but any of your players knowing that when it gets to this level, it's a chance to hang another banner that's already littered around this field? Exactly. No, they, they see what's going on and they know coming in that there is a sense of responsibility and especially with this year's group because there's returners from last year's group that did well and made it to the, the state playoffs I think they feel that a little bit and they we, we joke with them but they they deep down inside they know they have to come out and try to put another banner on the wall and this is this is year that they have a chance to do that it's very exciting we look forward to your double elimination four team super regional here at cypress college the action begins this friday here at cypress college at 1 p.m with the first game and then it will be followed by a 3 p.m game and cypress college looks as the number one seed in the south to advance to another state tournament and hopefully bring home coach brad's ninth state championship we're looking to uh bring home one more of these right here so that's what it's all about. That's what the eighth one looked like, so now we're trying to get the ninth one. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Who knows? All right, Coach, thanks for joining me, and thanks. good luck this weekend. Okay, Take care. Go, go Chargers.